Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the people show. Check the post for Rescue Nation. Brought to you by Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, I hadn't worked out in a while. All right, now we're starting to get that COVID bod. I don't want to get the dad bod or the COVID bod or none of the bod bods. So I went and worked out for the first time yesterday in quite a while. And as I sit here, ladies and gentlemen, the lactic acid is attacking me and I'm a little bit sore. And I'm about to head to the gym again. So wish me the best of luck. But the main point of today's show was not to talk about my, uh, my bod. It's to talk about what I believe the Huskers can learn from the national championship game, which was just played on Monday night between Alabama and Ohio State. I have three things. First and foremost, right off the top, offensively, being more creative, okay, and finding ways to get more explosive plays on offense. All right, this swing pass to the left that we we seem to start every other game with or all these swing passes, things of that nature, passes that don't tend to travel more than 10 yards downfield. And I understand they were limited in certain areas, but you watch Alabama. You watch how they use Devontae Smith. Okay, they'd put him in motion, they'd get him the ball. They'd put him in motion, fake it to him, give it to someone else. Then all of a sudden, he'd go in motion, he'd yo-yo back, they'd get him the ball. Then all of a sudden, he'd be lined up in trips and it'd be a screen. All of a sudden, he'd be lined up one-on-one on the outside, man-to-man, he'd beat his guy man-to-man. Then all of a sudden, he's in twins, he's motioning to trips. Twins left, motion to trips, right, boom, get him the ball. Get the defenders running, making them have to adjust. Making quick passes, smart decisions. My favorite one, move them all over the place. Finding ways to get your playmakers the ball in space and then let them do their thing. My favorite one, he went in motion, then he acted like he was going to do another yo-yo motion, and then he went back the original way he was going for an easy touchdown, All right? An easy touchdown in the corner. The poor Ohio State defender was trying to follow him back and forth and just had no chance, and then he got caught up in the whole entire mix, okay? Now, I know from talking to Mario Verduzco when they first got hired, the main thing they look for at a quarterback is they look for an athlete first. Well, that's great. But you got to be able to throw the ball. You got to be able to throw it downfield. You got to be able to complete a high percentage passage. You got to be able to threaten them vertically. You got to have the playmakers to do it. We've brought in a lot of guys with a lot of speed, a wide receiver. Where are they? Okay. We got to be able to throw it down there. We got to be able to make good, smart decisions and complete those passes accurately. You threaten them downfield, everything underneath opens up. When you threaten them underneath and you don't threaten them downfield, all of a sudden everything underneath gets clammed up. Alabama, I mean, that poor Ohio State linebacker, I'm not even going to say his name, okay, trying to keep up with Devontae Smith down the middle of the field. All of a sudden, they were stretched vertically, and then everything sideline to sideline, and the the short little stuff was wide open, and all of a sudden, those guys were backed way off, and it turned into big yards. Okay, being more creative and finding ways to be more explosive on offense. I mean, Devontae Smith himself, I mean, he's he's an alien. He's a Jedi master. Okay, the force is strong with him. But just in case you were curious, and if you're not, bear with me. Devontae Smith had 12 catches on 13 targets, 215 yards receiving, and three touchdowns in the first half alone. Okay, by comparison, Smith's first half on Monday night would have ranked him tied for fifth for most catches on Nebraska's roster this season, third most receiving yards on Nebraska's roster this season, and first in receiving touchdowns on Nebraska's roster this season for the entire season, and he did that in the first half. Okay, next, how important it is to keeping guys and developing them, okay, in your football program. Now, obviously, you don't want guys with bad attitudes. You don't want guys who should not be there. But we've had a lot of guys leave. It seems crazy at this point. Now, how important in keeping developing players is, look at Alabama. Devontae Smith, Heisman Trophy winner, a senior. Najee Harris won the Doak Walker Award for top running back in the country, senior. Landon Dickerson, okay, Remington Award winner, top center in the country, senior. Mac Jones, Davey O'Brien Award winner, top quarterback in the country. He's a baby by these standards. He's a junior. Okay, first of all, how many awards can one team win? Is this a record? If I cared a little bit more about Alabama football, I might have looked it up. But I wasn't interested. I might now. Okay. But you look, all these guys chose to come back, by the way. Najee, okay, Devontae, D- the Landon, they all could have gone. Not, not, not Mac Jones, really. But they all chose to come back. It's very simple. I even wrote this down because I want to say it right. If players want to play for you, they'll find a way to play for you. If they don't want to play for you, they'll find a way not to play for you. Quick note on Wandale Robinson, because there's been some varying reports. His mother was sick. He wants to be closer to home as to why he left. Or he wants to play in a system, offensive system, that will showcase his skills and get him ready for the NFL. Here's what I'll say. As far as if that's the possibility, if that's why he left, Dedrick Mills, because Wandale ended up a running back a lot, which is obviously not what he's going to do in the NFL. Dedrick Mills was healthy a lot more this season than he wasn't. But he got the ball a lot less than he should have when he was healthy. Hope that made sense. Last but certainly not least, ladies and gentlemen, get pressure on the quarterback. I'm going to say it for the 4 millionth time, and I'm going to keep saying it until we get pressure on the quarterback. Okay, 
Bama's defense was 33rd in the country. Not phenomenal by Alabama standards, but they they pressured Justin Fields all night long. And this is an Ohio State offensive line that dominated Clemson. Now, they only had one sack, but here's what they did. They knocked him down. They were in his face. They batted his passes. They were, they were all over him all night long. Christian Barmore, number 58 for Bama, made himself a lot of money last night. If Nebraska wants to have success on defense in the black shirts again, obviously you want sacks, but knocking quarterbacks down, getting in their face, pressuring them, harassing them, batting passes down has a lot of effect too. Go Big Red. Have a great week. Throw the bones. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.